Hi. In this video, we'll measure the voltages in a simple circuit and apply Kirchhoff's voltage law around several loops to verify KVL. The circuit we'll use in this project is the same circuit we used in our project about power and power conservation. Since we measured both voltages and currents for that circuit, we could really use the same data from that video to verify KVL. However, in case you haven't seen that video, we'll go ahead and redo the data acquisition for this one. Remember that Kirchhoff's voltage law states simply that the algebraic sum of all the voltage differences around any closed loop in a circuit is zero. This is equivalent to saying that the sum of the voltage rises around a loop is equal to the sum of the voltage drops. The decision as to whether voltages are positive or negative or whether they are considered to be rises or drops is based on the assumed voltage polarities. Here's the circuit we'll use as our example. We'll apply KVL around all three of these loops. Since all the voltages in the circuit are used in one loop or another, we'll measure all the voltages in the circuit. In order to measure the voltages, we need to define reference polarities. I arbitrarily chose these as my reference voltage polarities. Now let's make our voltage measurements. In order to interpret our measurements appropriately, of course, we need to make our measurements consistent with our defined voltage polarities. This is our circuit. I'm using V plus on the analog discovery to apply the 5 volt source. Ground is over here. This is my 1.5 kilo ohm resistor. This is the 1 kilo ohm resistor. And this is the 2.2 kilo ohm resistor. In this particular demo, I'm going to use my DMM to measure the voltages. The voltage across the 1.5 kilo ohm resistor has this polarity. It has a voltage difference of approximately 3.42 volts. My defined voltage polarity for the 1 kilo ohm resistor has this terminal being at the higher voltage than this terminal. When I make that measurement, I get minus 1.58 volts. Finally, for the 2.2 kilo ohm resistor, I use this polarity, negative voltages here, positive voltages here, I get positive 1.58 volts. Here's the data we acquired. Now let's do KVL around the three loops we identified earlier. Our first loop starts out, I'll start here. It'll be negative 5 volts plus V1, which is 3.42 volts. I see a minus sign on V2 first. I subtract that off, so it's minus a minus 1.58 volts. Turns out that that sums up exactly to zero. We can't do much better than that. For loop two, if I start out down here, I see the positive terminal of V2 first, so it's plus V2, which turns out to be a minus 1.58 volts, plus V3, which is positive 1.58 volts. That also turns out to be exactly zero. Finally, the last outer loop, if I start down here, I see the negative terminal on the 5 volt source first, so minus 5 volts plus V1, which is 3.42 volts, plus V3, which is a positive 1.58 volts. That also sums up to zero. We're in great shape. 